we can find the thrill of driving in many ways right it could be apex hunting on a race track or corner carving up a hill climb you could even find the thrill of driving on a blast down a highway but today is going to be very different you will find the thrill of driving in tech today this is the honda city ehev and we're going to be talking about two major functions how the hybrid system works and how honda's sensing adas functions i'm anand mohan this is the evo india channel all right nerds you see this badge on the back of the city when you are out on the road seeing all those wonderful honda city sedans pottering about you must be the car spotter spot the ehev badge see the guy or the gal driving it and smile even wave acknowledge a discerning car buyer because the city hybrid is a very unassuming but special car let me explain So in this video we're going to be talking about two major things right one is how the hybrid technology works in eking out the best efficiency out of the city hybrid and two it's adas technology how honda's sensing tech works in the real world so let me take you back to a rain soaked day where atish is driving the city hybrid and tell you all about how he got the best efficiency out of the hybrid and then i'll talk to you about adas over to you atish Okay first things first I think let's talk about the methodology that we've put into place to do this test. It's actually very simple. We tanked up the city hybrid at a fuel pump and drove it over 100 kilometers in the city. At the end of 100 kilometers we tanked it up again to get the liters and consequently the KMPL kilometers per liter. Now before we get to that number let me tell you how this Honda City hybrid system works. As with any hybrid there's an electric motor and a petrol engine. In the city hybrid the petrol engine is primarily a range extender charging up the battery that powers the traction motor at low speeds the city can run on pure ev mode provided there is enough charge in the battery when there are higher demands of the powertrain in terms of speed or acceleration the engine turns on to charge the battery as the traction motor drives the car mind you the engine is not powering the wheels directly at any point There is a third driving mode though. At high speeds, the clutch is engaged to make the petrol engine directly power the wheels, supported by the traction motor that draws energy from the battery. The engine is also running the more efficient Atkinson cycle to improve fuel efficiency. Now this system is extremely complicated, but it is also incredibly efficient. Now for that number you're waiting for, let us take you back to Anand. Isn't that amazing how the hybrid system works? 21.1 kmpl on just a regular drive why aren't strong hybrids used more in india of course it's the indian government that doesn't back them maybe a bureaucrat who's watching this video learns a thing or two about how clean tech works that doesn't require an entire ecosystem built around it now let's get back into the honda city hybrid and let's learn about the adas tech does it actually function well in a country like india where can you use it let's find out Now ADAS may not be a very popular feature because not many cars in India get it but it's very useful especially when you drive on highways when the highways are well marked their access control and with so many expressways coming across the country it's going to be a very useful feature for Indians who drive on the highway so let's dive into how the ADAS features work in the city hybrid starting with adaptive cruise control Honda is the first manufacturer in this segment to offer ADAS in the city hybrid. You need to know where to use it though. Our cities are way too chaotic for it, but out on such beautiful well-marked highways, you can put all the features to full use. Let's start with adaptive cruise control. Now, adaptive cruise control is like whipped cream to your cold coffee, right? Cold coffee in itself is nice, but you add whipped cream to it, even nicer. that's what adaptive cruise control is now every car gets cruise control right you add adaptive cruise control to it in the adas suite of features and what it does is that it locks on to the car in front of you on a highway and it maintains the distance from that car so say that car slows down the city hybrid will slow down when that car accelerates this car automatically accelerates so all you have to do is turn the adaptive cruise control on 
and lock the distance between the car in front of you and it just drives itself. You just have to keep your hands on the steering wheel and that's that. Adaptive Cruise Control is complemented by CMBS, Collision Mitigation Braking System. It will first give you audio and visual warnings on the instrument cluster. If you don't react immediately, the onboard computer applies the brakes to slow the car down and avoid a collision. So in addition to adaptive cruise control, the City Hybrid also has lane keep assist system in this car. So what it does is basically there's a button on the, in, uh, on the steering wheel. I turn it on and the instrument cluster shows a green light for the lane keep assist system. It works only about 72 km per hour. So once you've crossed that, that means you are on a highway. You turn it on and I'm on the right lane now. I try to veer the car in and you can see the steering vibrate and it corrects itself to warn you first and then afterwards get you on the right path. Now I'm going to try to run off the road. This car gets something called road departure mitigation that works above 72 km per hour. You press a button on the dashboard and a screen appears on the instrument cluster that shows the road departure mitigation is on. It ensures that you don't go off the road and crash into something off the road. So yeah, it's a bit freaky. <laughs> Fingers crossed I don't crash into something. I've got it on. Now let me induce some steer to pull it off. And there you see the steering immediately corrects itself and brings me back on the road. Wow, it works, it works. <laughs> and I'm safe. It's amazing how unassuming this car is, right? It packs so much tech, yet flies totally under the radar. The hybrid system works so well at sipping dinosaur juice. It's really impressive. And also the ADAS features, they're so useful now with all the highways coming up with the access control expressways everywhere. This car is the first car in its segment to get it, but every car should. I mean, let's bring on the easy life, man.